We first learned about Milo and Dixie last year. The Bassett Hound pair were inseparable, and Dixie helped guide the visually impaired Milo. Now we'd like to tell you about the family who adopted the hounds. Not in your sides, Ricky Mitchell is here with more. Milo and Dixie became an instant part of the Dro Aguirre family, but it was 13-year-old Nick who, through his battle with leukemia, developed a special bond with Milo, and he now says Milo died to save his life. When it comes to being a 13-year-old kid, Nick is pretty normal. He loves science, playing outside, and most of all, basset hounds. So when his mom let him adopt two basset hounds last year, Nick fell in love, especially with Milo. I was with him almost every day, unless I was sick. And for a while, Nick had his leukemia under control. But then Milo got sick and died. And two weeks later, Nick was back in the hospital after his cancer spread to 90% of his blood. And to be honest, they didn't know if he would pull through. One month of intense chemo later, and Nick went from 90% to 0% in his brain and only 2% in his bone marrow, meaning he could now receive a transplant. <laughs> Nick says he believes that sometimes an animal has to die instead of a person. Right before he died, I had a dream, a weird dream with him in it, and I didn't know what it mean and then it meant, and then I, I was in the hospital, I found out that it kind of meant that uh, I was really sick, and in the dream he was sick. When he found out he was so sick, he goes, Milo probably suffered for me. Nick's little sister, Krista, is his perfect yeah, match, and this and spunky so seven-year-old can't girl. wait to help her big brother. It's like a very big favor to that somebody sent down for me to do. Doctors hope this surgery will cure Nick, and Nick is bringing the memory of Milo with him. I still miss him. Nick's surgery is next week, and the family has set up an account through Wells Fargo for anyone who wants to help them with medical expenses. And that information is on our website, kgun9.com. And you know, Nick is really thinking positively about his surgery. He even told me that he's looking forward to his first meal afterwards, which will be spaghetti. He already has it planned out. Yes, I love that. What a cute story. Thanks, Ricky.